The simulations, the application-based activities or ABAs, these students love the simulations. In them, they're assessed on a slightly higher Bloom's level than the adaptive learning platform. So it gives them an opportunity to show what they've learned. The student goes through a scenario where they pick their own avatar, and then they're given questions that it's more like a, a conversation. There's so much we can do with these. We can bitmap them out so there's hot spots where the students click. We can put in multiple choices. We can ask any kind of question types. But the students don't feel like they're doing an assessment because they're playing a game. So it's really quite effective. And we've had students come up to us in our classes and say, hey, are there more of those application-based activities that I can do? It's really a fun dynamic. Yeah, and students are provided feedback within the application-based activities. Um, you can set them up as an instructor to do one attempt. You can do unlimited attempts, you know, however you want to structure that. Um, they're varied in delivery, uh, but really the goal is to try to move students from level, you know, Bloom's level one and two up to higher applications, so getting them to critically think about it. They have to slow down. They have to do some reading about it. There's checkpoints that assess their knowledge. So those students that try to go through and just, you know, click through it, they quickly realize, oh, I'm getting assessed on this. i got to slow down. Ted and I actually build some of these as well, and it's really fun to be able to see what we've done in Adaptive and then take the, the benefit of what we have in there and then build on that, and then build on that in those application-based activities, and a lot of flexibility with building those, and I, I, everybody we've spoken to that uses them really enjoys them both from students and instructors.